Diddy do the best flash tutorials ever. Welcome to another on enter flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Flash Develop. Flash Develop is an open source source code editor and it's specifically geared to Flash, Adobe Flash. So you can edit your ActionScript 3 code inside of Flash Develop. But what makes this more special is that you can compile that code using Flash Develop and Flex SDK. So what this all means is you can write code and create your games, applications, and websites all for free. You hear that? All for free. You don't need the Flash IDE to create Flash applications. So let's get started. The way we do that is of course we go to flashdevelop.org and download our Flash Develop RTM. All the links to all the items for download will be available on my website so I'm just going to show you how to do that. The next thing that we need to download is the Flash Player but not any Flash Player. We have to download the Flash Player standalone and the debug version so we can see the trace of any items we we have using the trace function if we want to see what's going on inside of Flash we'll need this player this will help us we also need to install Java so install Java then install Flash develop and you just need to download the Flash player uh, before I continue on make sure that you have uh, .NET 3.5 there's one more thing you have to download and that is the Flex SDK and the link will be available on the site. After you install, after you download Flex SDK, unzip it. I, un, I put a Adobe folder inside of my document so put that in there. So with everything installed then you're ready to go and we can start using Flash Develop and I'm going to show you how to set that up. Go to Flash Develop and what you want to do is you would want to go to the tools and inside of tools you want to go to the program settings. Let's move over to the program settings and let's go to the second tab AS3 context and in here we want to navigate down to the language so we can collapse these out of the way and in the language tab we want to click on the flex SDK location and once you clicked on it you'll see those three dots at the end usually yours will be blank but what you do is you'll click on it and it'll give us a way to browse to wh whatever folder you have your Flex SDK. So mine is in my documents, Adobe, Flex SDK, a bunch of numbers. And I would select that and press OK. Just like that. And now we are ready to, we can close that, and now we're ready to actually create our Flash documents or our Flash games or website. So the thing you want to press is New Project. Once you click on the new project right on the front, we go down to AS3 project. And the thing that we want to put is the name of our project, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name mine Hello. The next thing you want to check off create uh, directory for project. This means that everything will be in one file, so it won't be all over the place. I'm going to browse to a better location to save the whole entire file in. So in my documents I put a pro, uh, project and this project folder will hold all of my projects. So okay great. Once we're done with that we just press OK and now over to the side you'll see your project name which is hello. There's a bin, a library, and a source or SRC. And in that SRC we want to double click on the main Dot AS. And this is where our main function will run. This is where all the code is, where, where the initializing code is. So here we are in this function and we pretty much have something already written in here for us. So I'm just going to go over what is written in here and is it useful? Do you need it? Well yes, it's, it's it pretty much starts you off. Uh, what it's, everything is inside of this package this package brackets we import the flash sprite and the flash event and we move down it gives us our author's name and we have this public class main extends to the sprite and inside here 
this is the constructor function. The constructor function is the function with the same name as the class. If you don't know any of this, then you, you uh, this is kind of advanced, but I'm going to show you where you need to start coding. If you don't know what is going on, you basically don't have to worry about anything until this point where you see entry point. But I'll just explain it for you to get it. So, okay, we have everything inside of a class. Don't worry about public and private and all that jazz. All you got to know is that whatever you open has to close and everything needs to go inside of the class. So inside of this class, we have our constructor function, which builds your item. So we have our class, our item is being built. So we have this first line of code that says, if the stage in Adobe Flash, there's a stage, they're saying if the stage is present, they want to call this initialize function, or INIT. And here's the initialize function right there. And it's saying if anything else, then they want to add an event listener or add something that listens for when the item is added to the stage and then call the initialize function. So okay, there you go. It's waiting to be added to the stage. And once it's added to the stage, we have our entry point where we remove the listener. We don't need to listen to see if you're on the stage anymore. And then the entry point, then we can begin to code. So all of our code can start here. So let's move it down some. Okay. So from here we can type something. Uh, we'll trace. There you go. With the code hinting, it's so beautiful. Code hinting compared to the IDE, the flat, the flash IDE is there's no comparison. So inside of here, I'm just going to trace out. Hello. And that's it. If I if I go up here and I click on the run then what's going to happen is that it's going to compile my item using the flex compiler shell it goes through it does its work it does all the jazz and what you have is this blank document well this the flash player 10 shows up and you see the hello is being traced now if this doesn't work for you all you need to do is just double click on your flash player that the standalone flash player that you just downloaded and once you close it 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 just magically aligns itself somehow so we have a hello going on but that's not too exciting let's try to do something better than that let's show something on the stage so I'm going to go with graphic dot begin fill and I'm going to fill it up with black one two three four five six close that off graphics dot Let's draw a, rec a circle. That circle is 100 and the Y 100 on the X axis and 100 for the radius. So we should have a black circle when we run the or test the movie. So I'm testing the movie and in there is a black circle. Isn't that really cool? That is awesome. Amazing. So from this you can create anything that you can code anything that you can imagine you can create this from so this is the free way to do it remember all of the links to all the items that you need to install will be available on my website make sure you go to my website and donate subscribe rate comment um, I'm always answering questions on my on my website so if you post a question there I'll answer it twice as fast as on YouTube so thanks for watching uh, this on Enter Flash tutorial. Have a nice day. Don't forget about your grandma because she loves you. Or if she doesn't love you, it's your fault.